Yeah. Bet great voltager, William. Al Arzi, a potential runner. Last of six at Goodwood on the back of a brilliant Newmarket win. Did anything come to light at Goodwood? Yeah, that was, you know, we get surprised um, uh, sometimes, very occasionally, by horses that show nothing at home and win. And then we get surprised in the other direction. And Al Arce was in cracking form before the Gordon. And I, I say I couldn't see him beat. I was relishing the chance to take on the Derby form. And it was there in plentiful supply. And I couldn't believe he ran so poorly. And I don't know why he did. I don't. I, I, lots of we came up with lots of ideas that the ground was too fast, and the track was, you know, um, against him, and the, and the horse got too far back. As I'd asked Jim, or I thought it would be sensible to follow English King. Um, so lots of factors, but I don't know. And. I'm keen to eradicate that run as soon as possible, so he's very likely to go for the Voltage. And did he come out of it and has he worked great? Brilliant again. He's great and he'll do one more bit, but he's, he's a good horse. He's a good horse. What went wrong, I don't know. And, you know, the, tr the trouble is if you run and you, you run really well, you're back on song, that's great, but if you run badly, then you've got a head scratcher. Mm. So, um, it's a risk and we need to get everything right, but the track should suit him well and if they get a bit of rain, that should suit him. Although I always thought he wanted fast ground, so what do I know? Obviously, if things get back on track, is the ledger the ultimate target? Well, Sheikh Hamdan indicated after, um, after he won the Bahrain Trophy that he'd like to have a crack at the ledger. I felt he needed a bit more experience, which is why he ran in the Gordon. Um, so we'll see about the Voltager, but the, you know, he didn't race in the Gordon at all. Yeah. What about Roberto Escobar? Yeah, well, he's a lurker. It's, it's too big a jump for him, probably, from a novice win at York. But he'll stay well. And I liked, I thought it was a warm race beforehand. And I thought he won convincingly, albeit getting a bit of weight. He's a real improver. And he's worth a shot at a race like this. I think the track and the trip will suit him better than last, well, it was the same track, but the trip will suit him better. Um, he's a nice galloping horse, whether he's quite ready mentally for a race of this nature, we'll see. But he's a pretty good horse. On the Thursday, William, Skybet Lowther and you've got Sacred in there. How much are you looking forward to her having a crack at York? Very much. Uh, she, she's a very good filly and we've taken the view that she's got the scope to be a three-year-old, so we didn't want to overdo her at two. And so the logical step was the Lowther because she'd only run over five furlongs and this is a fast, easy six. I think she'll stay a mile, I'm hoping. She relaxes very well. So we gave her a break after uh, Royal Ascot and I thought she ran a beautiful race there and the form's been franked. And I think she's, she'll be ready to go at uh, York and I, I think the track will suit her and I'm full of hope for her. I think she's really good filly. You say the, the form has been boosted, of course. Caroline Dale, who was third, has come out of one since. You ran into a Wesley Ward, talented two-year-old at a Royal Ascot. Just from your answer there, I mean, it's not, I'm not being a rocket scientist and working it out because you've said it crystal clear, but ha how excited are you in, in terms of her talent comparatively to good two-year-old fillies that you've had in recent years? Is this one of those horses that you can see great things for in the future? Yeah. I thought she'd win at Ascot, so I was disappointed she got beaten, but Wesley's singing plenty of praise for uh, his winner. And I thought, I thought she travelled beautifully in the race, and she was probably the last off the bridle. A little bit green, but she, she's very, very natural, very talented. Michael Tebbett rode her work first time on, on the race course, race course side on the water gallop. The first time he rode her, and she led two other fillies, hardly worked. I think it was her first work. And he said, I haven't read, ridden one like this for years and years. Really? Yeah. Wow. And just natural. She's done very little, but she's got it. And she's got a great mind, which is key. In the gym crack, Yazaman is in there. And he's unfortunately run into 
Her Majesty the Queen's very talented tactical on a couple of occasions this season. And then last time out a very good horse seemingly in supremacy in the Richmond. He, he's probably deserving of a big one, is he not as a two-year-old? Yeah, he is. And he, he came back sore after Goodwood. Did and he? he didn't run a race at all at Goodwood. He was off the bridle and he only sort of went in the last bit. And uh, Tom felt that we, he hung on to him too long. But I said he was never going. I, I think he's much better now. And I think he'll put up a better show in the uh, gym crack. There is, a, there is a smirk there. There's a glint in your eye about him. Is that because you've been able to see that there was a problem after Goodwood? He's flying again and he's a talented two-year-old? Well, uh, he was sore after Goodwood, so I can't, I can't believe he ran to his best. And while we were disappointed. I thought Goodwood was tailor-made for him. But, and I'd like to blame the draw because we were out on the track, but the winner was drawn next to us and he got over because he had speed and got over to the rail and bolted up. So um, I don't know what will be in the gym crack, but our horse will be, he'll run a good race. He is as lazy as any horse I've had. I mean, That's we've, the point. we've the run one, him he was in sort of off the blinkers. Bit, wasn't it? We've run him in blinkers every race so far. And I took them off because I had a, a, a very long lunch with Wesley Ward in Deauville about five years ago, three years ago, four, I can't remember. And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, and he said to me, he exercises and runs all his horses in blinkers for the first three times and then takes them off. And uh, he said, you want to try it? And I said, well, we don't like blinkers in England. We don't, we don't do blinkers. I don't like blinkers at all. Anyway, this was lazy. I put some blinkers on him and he worked really well. So I ran him in blinkers and he won. Then I ran him at Ascot in blinkers. Anyway, I took them off uh, before Goodwood. And he worked off, absolutely awful. So we decided that blinkers definitely were necessary. But whether he worked awful because he wasn't quite on song. So you don't really have the answer. No, but I've had pretty good, I, I'm not brave enough to run him without blinkers. Right. He'll be running with blinkers unless I forget, <laughs> which is possible. Uh, the Skybet Strensel Stakes, uh, Group 3, Miss O'Connor, I love this story, Sam, your son, was involved in sort of flagging it up and purchasing the horse. And she's gone on to be an absolute superstar. But is she a superstar? on soft and heavy ground, or do you think she's a very good horse irrespective of the ground? Well, she ran in the uh, Valiant Stakes at Ascot and the ground was too lively for her. Um, she will only run now on soft and heavy and we've waited this long. Uh, so if it came up soft, it rarely comes up soft now at York, has to rain on the day. If it came up soft, she'd run. And, but you know, we're trying to save her a bit for the back end and she should win another group race. She's in good form. Um, she looks terrific. Yeah. My Oberon is in the Strensel, and I'm tempted. I think a mile and a bit, half a furlong will suit him. Um, I have my views on the uh, incident with Tilsit in the race um, and at Goodwood, and I want to see him make amends. We weren't planning to lead at Goodwood. It was, we were expecting Sylvester's horse to lead, but he got left. But canny in a way, because ultimately they didn't go very quickly. No, but he's too green. Right. And if you watch him win at York, he was lugging away from Tom's whip. Not that he was hitting him, but he, the, the horse is inexperienced. And I think at Goodwood, he was just starting, because it looked like Tilsit had his measure comfortably. But we felt that it actually he was only just getting his revs up. And, and he got squashed. Now, well, let's not go down there. The Skybet Melrose Stakes is a race that I know a lot of us in the media love this, love this race. And I think from speaking to you that you might quite like Favourite Moon in that race, is that right? Well, that's been his target since he won the race at Haydock. Um, and uh, we've been not wanting to expose him for very little money. As you know, the prize money has been quite low this year. The race he won at Haydock was rather bizarre, really, because it was a 60,000 added race. He was a maiden, rated 80. And they ran the Lancashire Oaks the race after for 29,000 to the winner. And ours was 37,000. Well, it's very hard to win a race worth 37,000 to the winner and then go back to a better race uh, for less than 10,000 to the winner. It didn't make any sense. So it made sense to wait. Subjectivist, the horse he beat, has since 
run very well in the Gordon and won the Glasgow at Hamilton. Uh, so he's obviously a good horse. So yes, I mean, I'm, I'm very hopeful that he will run well. He, he may need cut in the ground, but you know, he's, he's not a very difficult, he's not a very easy horse to assess at home because he doesn't do a lot, but he's not bad. We're gonna run another in the race um, who does want it quick called a star above. He came looking like he was going to win at Goodwood, um, and Mambo Knights just stayed on a bit better than him. But you were a bit unlucky, weren't you? Could well, have... I'm not sure. We, we all think we're a bit unlucky, <laughs> but you know, I thought the winner won with a bit in hand. Right. But we're well up for taking him on again if that's where he goes. So I think he'll go. He's an improver, and um, yeah, we'll see. It, it's, we we like to have a dart or two. I think we've won that twice now. And obviously this year it'll be a qualifier for the Ebor next year, so. Skybet City of York Stakes, is one master going to run in that? I want to run her in there. I think she's a little bit better round a turn, although it's not a turn, but she's won the foray, which is a, is a kink, a bit like uh, York, the seven films at York. I want to run her at York because it's a more valuable race than the Hungerford, and she's six years old, and uh, I think she's the Hungerford is straight, and I think if we can guarantee some rain at York, I think she'll go to York, and she's lovely.